My name is Pippa. I'm 16 years old and a senior in high school. I enjoy running both cross country and track. When I was running track towards the end of my freshman year, I developed a pain in my side. It was a sharp pain on the right side of my abdomen, just a few inches away from my belly button, and it worsened as I continued running. I tried over-the-counter painkillers like ibuprofen and Tylenol, but none of them gave me relief. The only thing that worked was if I stopped running, which was very annoying when I was trying to practice for meets. I saw a total of 12 doctors, had three MRIs, two CT scans, numerous blocks, and three steroid injections. Each doctor diagnosed me with something different. First it was a stress fracture, then it was hip dysplasia, then an ovarian cyst. But all of those were proved wrong with many painful and expensive tests. to lose hope until my dad showed me one of Dr. Tolster's videos. The symptoms of the person in the video were very close to my symptoms, just in a different place. During our meeting with him, I immediately noticed a difference between him and the other doctors. He was not confused by my symptoms, and he even explained to me what he was what he thought was the problem. The fact that she'd seen all these other doctors and undergone all these other imaging studies and just everything else, you know, kind of a million dollar workup and nothing had come up, that means just that alone means that it's likely to be a peripheral nerve problem of some sort. Based on her description, it, it, it was pretty clear that this is very likely to be a, just an entrapment of one of these small anterior cutaneous nerves. So based on the, the result of her diagnostic block, it was a fairly straightforward process to just take her to the operating room, make a small incision directly over the area of tenderness, and then carefully dissect down and find the nerve that was the problem and then address it. It was a very small procedure with a very short recovery time. A little over a month later, I was able to go back to running short distances with only minor pain from the surgery site. As I built up my endurance, the pain lessened and lessened until it was gone completely. Thanks to Dr. Tolstrup's videos, like this one, I was able to get back to what I love doing pain-free. He was calm and very understanding of my situation, and for the first time, I felt as if someone finally understood what was going on with me. If you're having symptoms similar to mine, I greatly encourage you to contact Dr. Tolstrup, and maybe he can help you just as much as he helped me. Mm -hmm.